It is Sunday, July 12th, and Evil is dual champion. Two titles. Val. E. Val. And you know what? Before we get started, Justin? Yeah, I think Evil's going to win the championship. No way. What do you mean, no way? Evil's going to win the championship? Yes. I think you're going to get all the new champions across the board. But Tanahashi, fucking um, Naito just won. He only defended against, um, what's his face? Um, Kenta. Well, yeah, I don't know. The last it time seems I so quick. Well, you know, the world changed since the last time he defended the title. He just turned heel on, you know, the leader of his of his group, and he sided with the other side. And, and he beat Okada. That's what Monster yeah, win. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna have him lose to Naito the day after he like like the, the payoff it just doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like if you were to have this match, like if if, you, if last night didn't happen and he didn't turn heel yet, and then Naito beats Evil and Evil and then Evil like attacks Naito after the match, then it'd be like, okay, yeah. but Naito is this just gonna beat him? Like the payoff's gonna end in like less than twenty four hours. So, I mean, I'm not saying that I was right, but I was right. And uh, I, I just know. need my couple seconds of fame. But at the end of that, you, I, I said you were starting to convince me. Well, yeah, and then yeah, I asked yeah. my friend, who's a huge New Japan fan, who got me in New Japan in 2012. And he didn't believe it. But he made a, he, you made him think. <laughs> Hold on. And then I told our friend TJ, mm-hmm. he doesn't want New Japan at all. But we're, then, then we started the debate of, like, who's going to win? I'm like, oh, wow. A main event that you actually can't make. Do a uh, predict the ending. Yeah. So I tell TJ this whole two minute scenario, catch him on New Japan Cup and everything. He's like, huh? Yeah. And I'm like, who would have thought? You know, not me. Wrestling yeah. where you can't predict the ending. And during the day, so from the time that we recorded that to the time that the show started, um, I, I took a nap. I, I took a shower. And when I was in the shower, I was thinking, like, you know what? I know what I said was very convincing, but. I could also see if Naito just won. Maybe Evo's just going to be like a guy, and then this is going to lead to like a, you know another guy in Bullet Club. But then I was thinking, I was like, no, I, it can't be right because why would they do a big thing if you know? And that's what I said in the thing in the podcast. I was like, why would they make it a big deal of him turning on his you know his f- former leader if he wasn't going to win a big match the next day and they wouldn't have had him beat Okada and everything? So it all made sense and. But, you know? but when we got on Skype, it's like we flipped for a second. Because when I got on, I thought Evil was going to win. And when you got on, you're like, I don't know. I think Knights is going to win now. And I'm like, what? What happened? Well, no, I, like, I didn't think that he was going to win. I still thought Evil was going to win from what I said earlier. But I, I was thinking more of how Naito would be able to win if he was going to. But all along, like for a split second, it started as a joke. And I was like, oh, yeah, obviously Evil's going to win. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, well, they're not going to have... They're not going to do one of the biggest things, um, you know, building in the past couple of years, in my opinion, because he's been with that team for so long. They're not going to, like, you know, have that pay off and end in less than 24 hours because that's not what they do. If this was WWE, then I could 100% see, like, I don't know, Seth Rollins turn on Roman Reigns and then the next day have Roman Reigns beat Seth Rollins. That's 100% something I could see them do um, just because that's what they've given us. Um, and New Japan isn't like that. It wouldn't have made sense. And I mean, yes, that's, when, that's what swerved me because New Japan makes sense. And I don't know, like, basically what happened was so it was me and Justin on Skype watching the show for a little while. He just got done watching UFC. He was very tired. Uh, we bought, brought on Brandon. I think he's, he's been on the live shows and everything um, that we do. Um, and so he was watching with us for a little bit. All of a sudden, we're just talking about. I don't remember what we were talking about. I was pretty awake because I took like a two hour nap. And then all of a sudden, like I was saying stuff that I was like hoping that Justin would say, like respond to because it was just me and Brandon for a little bit. And I was like, well, Justin has an opinion on this word, you know? And I was like, is Justin asleep? And then Brandon's like, probably. And then Brandon like pretty much like split for the night. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm just going to finish watching the show. I had a really fun time watching like the prelim matches, like the tag matches. I like to say I fell asleep the, the right before the main event during the the whatever the IWGP heavyweight tag match. Uh, yeah, I think I think it was during that. Um, so the 
deep in the show. I was so close, yet so far. Yeah, I mean, like, <clears throat> I, I think it was still, like, you missed, we can talk about that now, you missed the tag titles change hands. Um, that was, like, I don't remember a lot from that match because I was, like, you know, kind of figuring out what I was going to do. And I was, like, I was almost getting ready to go to sleep, like, you know, so I can fall asleep right after the show when I realized that the show was going to, you know, end pretty early and I would be able to get some sleep in. Um, so I was kind of, like, doing that at the same time. But throughout the match, I was like, maybe they're not going to win the tag titles. And then as I thought that, they won the tag titles. So we have new tag hmm. team champions on that one. Um, and then at well, that I was, point... I, I thought I thought Tanahashi and Abushi were definitely losing. Yeah. That. And then I, I was like, you know what? It makes sense. Like, you're going to have at least one tag team championship. Or, I'm sorry. At least one championship change hands tonight. Even if, you know they don't do the main event <clears throat> and have them change hands because as the show was going, I was thinking about what you and Brandon were saying about how it's just evil. You know what I mean? It's just like, like not like the situation. Is evil. From yeah. ROH from 2014. He didn't even have a, a, na- a name yet. He, they use his real, his government name. And so the match started and um, like it I, I think it like it, it was really really good, and then I got to a point in the match where I was like, okay, I don't know where this is going, and then Red Shoes got knocked down, and then people started to come out, and let me tell you, let me tell you, when um oh, what's his name, the one that wears the the bandana, he had like a, a shirt on that said thirty years, the other Booker, not Gato, Jada, uh, Jada. So when he w- entered from the ramp or from the stage. Okay, he could still be walking down to the ring to this day. He, <laughs> it took him forever to walk down that ramp. And then um, the, the one dude ran out, and he was, like, sprinting out. And I was like, wow, you're showing up, Jada, like, just taking his time walk to the, to the ring. And then, you know, the, everything was going crazy. And that's when it kind of picked up again for me because I was like, I really don't need to see this, especially if, you know, Naito is just going to end up winning. Um, and then... <laughs> I, I tweeted about this because I wanted to remember this moment. <clears throat> so, um, like, throughout the night, we were joking that the Observer coverage said that each thing had 10 stars because the stars were what they were, were using for, um, you know, to divide the segments on Wrestling Observer's website. So we joked about that the, the intermission got 10 stars. <clears throat> so I was watching this match, and Evil is, like, going back and forth with the announcer. And out of nowhere... And if I was sleeping, if, I'm, if I was half asleep, I could maybe say, like, oh, I, I dreamt this. Like, this didn't actually happen. The announcer doesn't take no for an answer, jumps over the announcer table, and attacks evil. And I'm like, this is amazing. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Like, especially in New Japan. Because, it's like, in New Japan, everything is, like, you know, the announcers stay the announcers. The ref, you know, some has, ref, you know sometimes like, has a role. Like, the ref like is like so lenient in New Japan. Yeah, so like everyone has their role in New Japan, and the announce I would have never expected the announcer to do something like that. So I popped huge. I was like, oh, like I I didn't know what to say when this announcer jumped over the table. So <clears throat> the match goes on, and I, I obviously I didn't know what was like going on with the announcers because it was in Japanese and it wasn't like an English like uh, commentary. So <clears throat> like I was just kind of trying to pick up on what everything was. Like, I heard when they were saying Destino, um, and I, I heard something that I thought was, like, Evil's move. So when he did that, and then it was, like, a slow motion thing where it's, like, one, two, three, and you don't see Naito, like, like adjusting to kind of, like, kick out of it. Um, mm-hmm. And I was, like, at that point, I was, like, I can't believe it actually happened. Like, I was, I was in, I was, I was very happy because I was, like, for once, something I said actually like turned out to be that way when everyone else said that like it wasn't going to happen because it didn't make sense and it's just this guy and now i am like 97 percent back in on the bullet club and i think that this is like gonna bring new life to that group for me because i just really didn't care like there was you know we were kind of memeing slash real about jay white you know joining the bullet club switchblade and everything and that kind of turned into you know a real thing um, but after that, it was like, I really haven't watched New Japan in a long time. Um, I don't know what's going on. 
but that for me kind of like it, it piqued my interest i was like oh okay this is interesting because you had this you know big thing with naito at wrestle kingdom where he won the two titles and that was huge and now evil who i you know a couple of years ago i saw him with sonata and i always paired those two together um and now he's the champion and he turned I would, what i always thought sonata would be the champ between the two of them that's what i think a lot of people thought i thought that um you know sonata was more of like the rest like the, the you know the wrestling fans guy um, and evil was like good but he just wasn't like you know that big of a deal Everyone was like, "Oh, it's evil," you know, evil, and, or, you know, evil and Sonata, but Sonata's like the the good wrestler. So, the fact that they, you know, put both titles on evil is uh, is pretty crazy. And then I, I literally didn't know what to do was, because what I was gonna say, it's wild. I was I, for a second like going into the show, I was like, "Are they just doing it for the like the IWGP Heavyweight Championship?" And then I was like, "Nope, both titles on the line, both titles." And for a second when it happened. I was like, I didn't know what to do. And I just tweeted evil in all caps. And then I was just like, I, I, it's one of those things where like you think about like, you know, you think about a tweet ahead of time <clears throat> where I wanted a picture of, uh, you know, I don't know what the movie is. I apologize. It's John Travolta, like looking around, like what's going on here? Like there's no one here. Um, I had that in my head where I was like, I got to tweet this if, you know, if no one's tweeting and no one was tweeting on my timeline. And when I say my, my timeline, I mean like none of my friends are watching the show. No one that I knew was watching the show. And then I think I saw, like, a couple of minutes after, I think Zach, like, posted, a, like, a GIF where it was, like, a, like what's going on kind of thing. Um, but I was just, like, I have no one to talk to about this because everyone's asleep. <laughs> so that was, you know, like, that was something. Um, I pretty much. So after, so I fell asleep during the tag match. I woke up and... They were the announcers were talking during intermission because apparently they were cleaning the ring and I didn't know that. So I'm like, why are they not starting this match? Why are they not starting this match in my head? And then mm-hmm. eventually the inter- the entrances came and they came to the ring, and then I don't remember what happened because it was morning. <laughs> yeah. So then I'm like, oh my god, I woke up. So I woke up. I I turned it on my phone. Then I started watching the match, and then all the all the Bullet Club. All I remember is all up until the Bullet Club chaos, and I'm like. And then they brought out the guy that looks like it's like, is it Bushi trying to help him? But why is that guy so jacked? Oh yeah, dude, the guy it in the mask. It didn't make any sense, and I'm like, oh my god, they're actually gonna do. It. And then it was just like one, two, three. For me, it was just like one, two, three. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that when that dude came out, I knew immediately he wasn't like he wasn't who he says like he was. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I didn't know who he was. Jack, but... he, he's too obvious, and he looked too like he didn't. It was like, oh, I got to go do this spot, you know? He it didn't wasn't fit like the mask. Like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, you know? He looked uncomfortable in the mask. Like, it didn't look normal. So, yeah. Um, oh, but, man. Uh, so, you were right, dude. I was telling everyone I was at, I'm like, is Evil winning? You, you made me change. I, I was mean, asking people, asking my friends. We asked Brandon. I was like, Brandon, Evil's winning tonight. He's like, what? No way. It's going to ruin <laughs> everything. And look at that. Look who would have thought. And my whole thing with that is, like, I understand that, like, you know, they really didn't do much, but it's been so long um, since, you know, like it's been six months, obviously, since um, Wrestle Kingdom. So the fact that, um, you know, the fact that like they changed titles now, it just is like, yeah, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe someone had like a, a premonition during, you know, the quarantine where it's like, you know what? Let's just have Evil, Evil in the title. You know what I mean? Both titles. So that was, uh, that, that that was cool to see. Like for for once, like everyone was like, ah, that's not gonna happen, and then it actually did. So that was fun to see. And uh, I it's, don't know uh, who this guy he was with is, but I mean, he looks so like, apparently, I don't know. Evil's gonna be the new leader of of Bullet Club Bullet until Club. Jay White comes back, because you know Jay White's stuck. They're pretty yeah. much changing everything because they don't they can't really do. They don't have like a lot of their foreign guys, right? Mm-hmm. So New Japan's other than Zack Saber Jr. New Japan's like everyone that's just there in Japan. Yeah. And um, what else? Oh, we forgot about Okada. Okada lo- uh, lost tag match, and now he's uh, feuding with Yujiro, which is gonna, it's like 2014 all over again. Is that a feud in 2014? 
Yeah, you drew Okada, Okada the title, and AJ won, and then they feuded throughout 2014. Gotcha. I, gotta... I feel honestly, this this show was. I feel like it was good, not great. If I, um, like, I was thinking about it, and like, like I would say 65 percent of me watching this show is because it's Dominion, and I watch it every year, and I have since 2015. And I always watch it with everybody on Skype, and it's like a big thing. Wrestle yeah. Kingdom and Dominion, and to me, it's like WrestleMania and SummerSlam. Um, and so the fact that, like, in my head, I was like, "What if no one watched SummerSlam?" You know what I mean? No one was tweeting about SummerSlam. That's how it kind of felt. And the show, obviously, under the circumstances, it didn't feel like the same thing. You know, normally the show is on six nine. It was a month later. Uh, normally, there's a lot of people watching it. Normally, there's a lot of matches, and it goes long. Um, and it's Usually, like, like the card super stacked. Like yeah. it's like three of like banger matches back to back to back. And I was thinking, I was like, if it wasn't for, um, you know, if we didn't like record that re- like preview. Or if you just said, you know what, I'm not going to watch the show, I probably wouldn't have bought New Japan World. I probably wouldn't have watched it. I would have woke up like the next morning and saw, oh, Evil's champion. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I wouldn't have even like stayed up for it. Um, but it always happened. Like for some reason, it, 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 this has been a trend where we'll plan on like watching a New Japan show and we'll plan on um, you know being on Skype for it and everything, and then everyone goes to sleep. I'm the last one staying up and watching it. Um, the first time it happened where me and Breach were just the only ones that were watching it. We were like, I don't know what's going on. We need Justin here. We need Brandon oh, here. We need someone right. here to like watch the show that with was, us, and we don't know what's going on. That was 2015 in February. Yeah. And I decided to watch New Japan. That was like a – like we watched like a Wrestle Kingdom, what, what was it, 7 or whatever, that banger show in 2015, and like the month later it was just That's like a regular nine. show. And it was, it was like, oh, this is just a regular New Japan show. Yeah, and we watched uh, uh, Hanma um, wrestle somebody. That's all I remember is Hanma wrestled somebody. But, and then um, Nagata versus Shinsuke, and you guys were like, what is this Oli guy wrestling Shinsuke for? Yeah, and then the next time it happened was, um, I, mean, I want to say 2018 with Okada and Omega. The, That's 2017. 2017. I was, I was gone. I was like at a cottage, and I was like, I can't stay up to watch the show. I'm just gonna watch it in the morning. The second I wake up, I'm just gonna put on New Japan World. <laughs> and Which everyone, I did. everyone thought I was gonna fall asleep. <clears throat> they were like, "Oh, you're not gonna watch the show." And I watched the show. And let me tell you, greatest match I've ever seen. So if I didn't stay up for it, I probably wouldn't have cared as much as I, you know, as I do. And you know, that's the thing where it's like, you know, I, today I saw I saw Ryan Falcone like tweeting about like people were like spoiling like the match like you know last night's show for him. And like I feel like today it's hard to complain about like people being spoiled. Like if you I if, if I got a I, I feel got, like we I do texted, it all the time though. We do it if, all the time. We're the worst because we stay up and watch it. But if I okay, here's the thing. Here's how I look at it. If I texted you, Justin, and this is why I, I tried not to do it. If I texted you or sent you a snap of evil with the two titles, that would have been the like I, I would have like felt bad because I would have spoiled it. But if I'm tweeting about it, like. And if, if you know that you're not going to be able to watch the show, stay off of Twitter, stay off all social media. If someone texts you, like if I was watching Breaking Bad for the first time and, you know, I was trying to catch up and I was deliberately staying off of all social media because of it. And then if like, Justin, if you came around and texted me I like, hey, rip. he dies at the end. Walter White. <laughs> yeah, he dies at the end. He falls down and dies at the end. Um, no, I no, I don't need that. Curious. I just say rip Walter White and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah. So that's why to me um, – if you know you're not going to be able to watch something and you really want to watch it and you don't want to be spoiled, stay off of all social media. If a friend texts you the, the finish, like you know, you know, New Japan World spoiled the show for me on their own New Japan, like on New Japan World, because one time I didn't watch G1 and then I, I went up and I was like, oh, here's the finals. I'm like, I, I came here to watch the match tonight before. Yeah, I mean, the finals graphic already. Just put New that's... Japan finals. I'll put the graphic. Yeah, you can't really do anything about that. I mean. You know, it was but, stupid Omega and Abushi, and I woke up to see it, and I see stupid Abushi and Tanahashi like G one final. I'm like, why yeah. did you, why did you post this? Yeah, so, and New Japan World's bad for that too. They'll just straight up post the picture of who won like right after. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm sending you on Skype right now what I want the thumbnail of this video to be because I think that's just like an awesome picture. <laughs> like, 
evil, dude. dude um, that- so Takahashi also said he wanted to challenge evil for any title he wants to uh, put on the line. See, this is when I needed to, like a translator because I, I thought I knew what Takahashi was. I was going to tweet about this, but I, I didn't know how to word it where it didn't sound weird. Where I was like, this is probably a really great promo. I just have no idea what's going on. Like, why am I even staying up? You know what I mean? Like, why yeah, am I watching Breach, this? Breach, we, watched, we watched the G1 final and Tanashi won, and Breach is like, I'm going to bed. And then Tanashi was literally playing air guitar for 10 minutes, and Breach did not stop watching. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what are you doing? He's like, I don't know. I just keep watching this air guitar. <laughs> and that's what I was doing with Takahashi. I was like, I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's doing. But, like, okay, you know. Like, Takahashi going win the IWGP IC title. I mean, oh, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Or he challenges him just for the IC title. But then again, like that that's the, the, the thing where you get yourself into a pickle. When you're just doing, like when you're, like, explain this one to me. Um, if, Justin, if you have both belts, and if I say I just want the second tier belt, you know what I mean? No. If I beat you. I think it's going to be like, um, he's gonna be like, all right, I won't give you the first title, but I'll give you the secondary title. Okay, I can see that. You know um, what I mean? Because he's yeah. evil, dude. Remember, he's evil. <laughs> I saw. I think you retweeted something where it was like, <laughs> hold on, I want to, I want to give credit to where his credits to. I got to read the the full tweet. Um, you retweeted something where uh, it's a guy named Evil King of Darkness whose catchphrase is "Everything is evil." Betrays his friends, all of us, and then it's the the, the Pikachu the like. Pink. Shock Pikachu, like what? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's pretty that's pretty good. So I mean that's the truth. Evil you know? turn heel. What? What the do you world, mean he turned? The world is evil. New Japan is evil. <laughs> I was gonna start the show off with that intro, like saying it's it's Sunday, July twelfth, and the world or New Japan is evil. But that just sounded fun, you know. The Bullet know. Club runs the biz again. Yeah. So that's I mean that's all I could say is Bullet Club is back. I wore my Bullet Club shirt, um, and uh, yeah. Evil. Let's go back. Tanahashi and Ibushi are, might feud, and Okada's feuding with like a whatever person. And Takahashi might be IC champion. There you go. That's the highlights of the show. Essentially. We're gonna end this by giving credit. I, I this is the first time in a long time I remember seeing this. Okada the tire with the all white and like the red and the gold. Five stars. Thank you. I was the Wrestle listening. Kingdom attire. I told you that. I forgot about it. And it is the first time I saw it since January. Obviously, a lot has happened since January. So I. I, I I did not remember that amazing gear. So that's it. I'll talk to you again. I'll go watch right the show. Here. If, you, if you want to rewatch it, go ahead and rewatch it. Um, I think I might do that before I unsubscribe from New Japan. So that's it. I will talk to you again in the next one.